Patia v5. Let's see how we can create an axis over here so we can directly model the part over here. So, as we can see, this will be part three over here. I will go within the product, insert, create a new part. I will not define the origin for that. And afterwards, I will double click on part two. This will take me to part design. So over here within part design, we're going to see that we have the possibility to create a line, but we actually need to create an axis. So the axis will be available within the following workbench. So generative shape design will have that. Also within mechanical design, we have access within the wireframe and surface design. So I will just go within generative shape design because this is one of the most popular one. And we're going to see that underneath the line, we're going to have the possibility to add an axis. We can select the element. In this case, will be the cutout over here. We're going to see the axis position over here. And afterwards, we can jump back to part design and we can start working with that. So I can add a new plane. I can position it over here on that axis and I can make it normal over here. If we're going to see for the normal, we're going to have a reference. So for the reference, we will need to create a plane. But in this case, we can also add it to be normal to curve because this is actually the plane that we want. We're going to have the axis. Afterwards, we're going to have the point. In this case, we're going to have the middle. I can just click OK. And now I can jump within the newly added plane. I can swap the normal view like this. And if I will create a new circle over here, I can then select the point of the newly defined circle. I can select afterwards while holding down control of uh, the cylinder. So let me just go back over there because I want to add a coincidence between those two. And we can add that. Later, we can add the diameter. So in this case, I know that this was a radius of five. We're going to have that position over there. And we can start working using part design. For example, over here, we're going to see this will be 25 millimeters from one section to the other. And um, if I want, I will extend this to, for example, 50. And onto the other direction, I will add 25 so this will be even like that or I can go over here with um, 100 and that means over here I should have 75 okay so this is how you can easily add axis to existing elements I decided to make this video because um, somebody asked me uh, regarding this so I hope that you find this video useful I'll position a like and subscribe um, animation at the bottom. I will also add a similar video on the left side and a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.